Hey guys, it's GT11, and today, today's video, we're going to be kind of discussing what do you put your insect feeder insects in, and we're going to be kind of talking about what I put them in, and what you should put them in, and kind of the best way to set up their environment, of course, because remember guys, the better you treat your food, the better it's going to be for your leopard gecko. So let's get started with the video. Before we start, guys, make sure you like and subscribe, support this channel, so we, I can continue making cool videos. And yeah, let's get started. All right, here we got Big Papa here. Now, before you think about that, you might be like, hey, GT, yo, why is that so big? And it's glass. And you might be like, well, I can find a cheaper solution. Yeah, I'm sure you can, because <laughs> this is a giant glass tank I got from a friend who actually their tarantula used to live in here. And we don't speak of the tarantula, passed away. Anyway, so this is like a giant thing. It's got a nice mesh lid. Now, mo most of you guys will be thinking, why do you need a mesh lid? Even crickets, I advise this, but as especially if it's large crickets, because I've actually seen them climb on top of the roof here. And that kind of creeped me out, because it reminded me that you should always have a lid on here. Nice, secure lid. And then, also you're going to need, if you can see down there, you can see that there's egg carton. And that's obviously, if you go to a pet store and you get it, you'll see that they keep them in egg cartons. This, the reason they do this is because there's a lot of good space for them. So I say egg carton is probably the number one essential, right next to food and water, which we'll get into. All right, so I use, I can't see if I just, can you guys see this in the corner? Probably not. It, I have a sock, an old sock. You might be like, uh, what the heck is that old sock doing there? Well, it's used for water, guys. I just put some water in it and they drink out of it because it keeps the moisture condensed. You could be fancy and use a sponge. And now we go to food, guys. This is one thing I completely advise, probably what you need to take away most of your deal. Don't buy cricket food. Well, the reason I'm saying this is because you can just find used compost in your house, and it'll, it'll dine off that pretty nicely. So if you use your compost from your food, then you're recycling your compost, and you're giving your guys some food. I I mean, you guys can if you want to, but I think buying cricket food is a complete waste. But do whatever you want, and it's right for your leopard gecko. And in the bottom layer, because you got a whole bunch of spiking moss. That's because I keep my super worms with my crickets. And the reason I do this is because obviously you take up less space. And it's kind of, you don't really want to freeze your super worms. So they have a nice sphagnum moss layer where they can kind of rustle around and do whatever. But I used to not have that down there. And I noticed that my super worms kind of didn't really have a place to go. And that kind of just bothered me. Plus, I don't even want the crickets annoying them because it like they got the crickets got on their nerves. So, make sure you guys have some kind of bedding. I wouldn't completely suggest it if you guys want to. Get some spare money, get some sphagnum moss. And you're going to need it for your Leprechaun's Human Hide anyway. Because I got it. I used it from a big pack I got out of my Leprechaun's Human Hide. Anyway, guys, let's keep on going. Uh, this, there's already crickets in it. Because I'm going to feed them. And that's just your average. Um, technically, this is what I took them home in. Because they give you like this little, they have like little veta proof sign with all the kind of stuff in it. They talk like where your leopard gecko is. So I use that to transport them from the tank into his tank or terrarium as you'd call it. And that's, I mean, I didn't want to like, I kind of wanted to reuse. I like reusing a lot of my stuff. So I tend to, I wanted to use this, so. You guys can use other stuff, but I didn't, I wouldn't buy the totes cause that's kind of a waste. But if you're gonna get a tote, put your crickets in it. Or try finding, if you go to like a Petco or something, you can find like a box of crickets. We'll have a little bit of food, cricket food, and like um, some egg carton. So that's it. I advise that. That's probably, I'll say, the number one thing to buy for a leopard gecko. Anyway, here we have this wild mess. Used to be home to Duber Roaches, which Saber, my leopard gecko, ate all of them. But now there's just a whole bunch of little kind of larvas. And all the larvas kind of just chilling in there, get becoming dubit roaches so I can feed them to them again. So that's really pretty sustainable. As you can see, it is super messy and the carburetor is breaking down. So I'm not sure what to do with them, guys. In the comments below, tell me anything I think I should do with these dubit roaches because I'm not really sure. I don't want to put them in a tank with them because they kind of prefer their own human environment. So I'm kind of questioning myself right now. All right, guys, I think that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Um, appreciate all the support. Make sure you like and subscribe for more cool videos like this. Alright, this is GT11, guys. Out.